Don't worry, I'm feeling it too. Now I don't even know these folks, and I'm feeling it. Hey there, NavyDoc5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to Diana Anka Denova, Quiet Outpost. This is one that I saw a lot of people suggest that I listen to. That along with her stuff from the Dune soundtrack. So I figured we'll go ahead and get this one knocked out since this seemed to be a really popular request. So we will go ahead and get started with that. I'll leave a link to the original video in the description below. And if you would also like to give a little extra support for the channel and also get early access to these reactions, you can feel free to uh, check the join button and uh, you can become a member of the channel and with that you'll get special perks which include early access as well as ad-free versions of all my reactions. So if you're interested, go ahead and take a look. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started with the reaction. This already sounds intense. I can't wait to hear what she does with it. Because if there's anything she does not lack, it's intensity. You can bring it. Sorry to pause it so early. I usually do that when I have a lot to say, but I I just really want to make sure I don't really interrupt this because this seems very captivating and um, I want to lose this up. But I need some context on what's going on with this. And I don't know if it has to do with the event or if it's just a song, but only now is it hitting me all the uh, photos of the people in the background. And unfortunately, I don't understand Russian, so I don't know even what's being said. I'm assuming it's names, but I just don't know. But then once the audience kind of stood up, usually whenever I see something like that, and like I'm seeing that, and then all the photos, and then based on the mood I'm already kind of getting from the song, even from the lyrics a little bit, I feel like this is some sort of memorial. So if that is the case, I mean, it says it's from the Nika Film Award, so I don't know. But then again, it's kind of like the Emmys. They always have kind of like that, um, you know, in memoriam type section. So maybe that's what this is, I feel like. And maybe this is, uh, I want, I, I'm assuming this is Russian. I could be wrong. But um, yeah, if that's what's going on, just please let me know. Because I feel a little lost, but I feel that with the song the mood of the song based on that and then just the audience just standing up you know in a it looks like really a, in a show of respect i feel like this is almost kind of like the emmys with what they do with the in memoriam where they're trying to um honor those that they lost um in the past year Beautiful song so far. Very beautiful song. See why y'all suggested this. She's definitely bringing the feels with it too. That's another thing she doesn't lack is she brings the feelings with her songs, with her singing. Теперь-то 
дожди косые, все на вылет сквозь меня. I really love what they're doing with this. Don't worry, I'm feeling it too. Now I don't even know these folks, and I'm feeling it. Story beyond that one. <clears throat> oh, boy. Seen some real young looking ones on here. It's such a shame. Hmm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, that was Diana Anka Danova with Quiet Outpost and, um, Man, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I needed to uh, take a minute to kind of um, get myself to go a little bit. I don't know if you saw near the end, but um, I'm out to look when I'm editing. But I, I feel like I was very clearly probably biting on the inside of my mouth because I was really starting to um, get to me a little bit. The song was absolutely beautiful. The song by itself, I can see why um it was so strongly suggested but seeing it in that setting and you know i said at the beginning how it you know sounded like it was going to be very intense and that she definitely brings intensity of that but you know i think it was a little bit of a different intensity than i was expecting because that one was definitely a very you know that was definitely an emotional number right there uh, I mean, I just got so gripped, you know, it's like I have the captions on so I can see what she's saying. I know it's something that was suggested to a lot of people because lots of times I talk about it, it's like I don't even know what they're saying, but yeah, it's like I'm still so into it. And yet here I am, even with the captions on, I just got so gripped with just what she was just, you know, the feelings that she was conveying, plus, you know, the scenery and everything. It was just... I just got so captivated into it that, you know, there's really no analysis I can give. And I know I said this in a previous reaction I did. In fact, it might have been um, the last one I just did with Tori Holub, where sometimes the best analysis I can give is the fact that a song gripped me so much that I have no analysis to give. And the reason I say that is because the fact that it gripped me that much 
and that despite the fact that I was not paying attention to the subtitles at all so I don't know what she was saying but you know sometimes you don't need to know what one is saying to understand the feeling you get there and you know you definitely got up not even just from her but even the audience you know just the feeling of reverence and you're just seeing the reactions to some of the people you know it was very touching and i i feel like i know i was asking that when i paused earlier but this does feel like kind of like those things where they did just kind of remember the people that were lost um you know from the past year because i think it was like a film awards thing so it was probably you know they do that every year where you know since the last award show you know they you know try to honor those that have um, passed away prior to the current one they're on and they definitely chose the right person to do a song for that man that was absolutely beautiful and such a touching scene too and it's just you know it's so weird thinking about it because I know there aren't too many celebrities actors musicians otherwise that really kind of get to me when they pass but there have been a couple of the past few years that really really kind of got to me and it's just because of all the memories that are associated with them sometimes it's not even how many memories i have sometimes it's just the quality of the memories you know like i think about the tribute i did with olivia newton john you know i really only knew some of her music and from greece but her death really got to me because of the memories that um she invoked because when I was a kid, I, you know, we had this group of friends and we hung out with each other all the time. It was probably like a group of like nine of us. It was like me and my brother and, um, you know, just this whole group of friends. And I think the last time we all were together, it was at a sleepover and we watched the movie Grease. So every time I hear or see anything related to Grease, you know, that's what is associated with that. And that is just such a, you know, like a core you know wonderful memory for me that you know that's why Olivia Newton-John you know got to me so much when she passed and then another one that just very recently James Earl Jones I mean I mean what needs to be said about that I mean whether you knew him as Darth Vader whether you knew him as Mufasa whether you knew him as Terry Mann whether you knew him from The Sandlot whether you knew him from Conan the Barbarian whether you knew him as King Joffrey Joffer from Coming to America I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. There, there's something. He's probably one of the few people where it doesn't matter what generation you belong to. He was a vital piece somewhere in that generation. You can even say the new generation because he did Mufasa twice. He did Mufasa in the original Lion King. He did him in the live action Lion King. So you got that. I mean, it's just, it feels like everywhere you go, James Earl Jones had his hand in something. Even the Big Bang Theory. I mean, come on. So, so. But the fact that I was able to feel something and something like this for, and I didn't know anybody in there. And it's like, that to me is a real testament to Diana and her talent, you know, and her, you know, musicianship. The fact that, you know, she can take somebody completely unattached to these people and yet make me feel something. That's a huge credit to her. And like I said before, they definitely picked the right person to do that song. That was a real beautiful song. And I'm not going to lie. I'm really looking forward to getting to doing um, her stuff from Dune. So I, I'll have to look that up. I did try looking that up. I was having some issues trying to find the perfect song. I may have just been looking in the wrong place. But if you guys have any um, good suggestions for her Dune stuff, uh, please leave some links so I can add those to my watch queue. I thought I had them in there already, but I actually just went looking and I couldn't find anything for Dune. So I am going to start searching for those. But if you have any links for any of her Dune stuff, I would love if you could um, leave those in the comments. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. And thank you all for stopping by. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, feel free to do so. And make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you can be aware of any time I upload a new reaction. And as I mentioned before in the video, if you're also interested in giving some extra support to the channel, feel free um, to check out the join button. I have two tiers of memberships that you can do to join this channel. And with those, you each get perks. But even at the most basic level, Level, um, you will get early access as well as ad-free 
um, versions of these reactions. Um, they usually, depending on when their normal upload is, it'll be up to 48 hours early. Um, but sometimes it can be up to a week. But the bottom line is, you will get a chance to look at these before everybody else does. And you will also get them ad-free. So you don't have to worry about skipping ads or anything like that. As well as many other perks, feel free to check them out if you'd like to. But um, all that said, I'm just going to thank you all once again. Make sure you check out some of my other uh, Diana Anka Denova reactions. And I will catch you all down the road.